Hiker Jay here. This week I'm going to be revisiting a similar product that I reviewed a couple weeks ago. That is the Camelback um, Shoot water bottle system. Now I just have the standard water bottle that I reviewed a couple weeks ago and that's right up here. But one of my subscribers turned me on to the uh, insulated style and it's a vacuum insulated 20 ounce water bottle. And it has the mag top on here which I've come to really love. The new setup for the Camelback water bottle. But I want to test the actual thermal capacity of this 20 ounce vacuum um, insulated water bottle. So what I've done is I have put in here ice cubes. So I have like 14 ice cubes in here and I'm going to let them sit for like eight hours and see um, how, how much they've melted. And when I come back and we'll check that out. And then I'm going to put some boiling water in here and let that sit for like eight hours and check uh, to see how well it held that as well. I just want to see its thermal capacity because uh, I'm thinking like eight hours is perfect because this is a water bottle that I would use maybe on my desk with like some cold water in it or something or or like even soup on a day hike, something I'd be consuming within an eight hour period. So I don't need it to be longer than that, but I want to see if it will keep it warm for that long or cold for that long. So let's let this ice sit here for eight hours and I'll be back to check it out. All right, welcome back. So it has been eight hours. It's nine o'clock at night here and it's been sitting down here just as is um, from one o'clock earlier. And I'm gonna open it up and see if we have ice or what we have. So let's check it out. Quite a bit of ice left. I thought it would be kind of cool to be able to measure and be able to see what kind of water or no water. Holy cow. These cubes, they're like, they're like melted, but they're not, there's no water, no water at all. Hopefully you can see that on camera, but they just softly melted, but not at all. That is really, I don't know how I'm gonna get them out. Probably have to put hot water in it to get it out. So there they go. They've kind of just globbed together, but either way, the rest of them are in there. So uh, it definitely works to keep things cold. That's eight hours with ice cubes barely melting. That's pretty impressive. I thought it would have needed like a liquid around it, but I wanted to just go ice cube so I could see how much liquid actually melted, but none really melted at all other than these just kind of started to get a little sweaty or just a little bit wet on the outside. So I don't have enough time today to do the heat test, so I'll do that tomorrow. I'll put um, water in here that's at boiling, basically like coffee water, and then uh, let it sit for, they say it's supposed to be able to stay till like for six hours um with hot water so we'll go six hours on that one on that test and see what we get that's pretty cool all right so i'll see you tomorrow so now on to the second part of this testing and that is seeing how things like coffee or water stay warm in this camelback what i did was i was at work today so at noon i just went to the microwave boiled up some water and poured it in here and now it's six o'clock the advertising on here says it'll keep fluids warm for up to six hours. And I kind of figured out why that is and I'll tell you in a second. But first, let's open it up and see where we're at on temperature. So the cap is actually warm has, has, and has stayed hot all afternoon. I've te checked the top every once in a while I'll touch it and it stayed warm. So it is steaming. I'm not sure you can get that, but it is still steaming. That's pretty impressive. So, okay. It's right at that point where you can drink it, but it's not awesome to drink. So I'm going to check with my thermometer here and my cooking thermometer, and I'm going to try to see how where it goes. While it's heating up, I'm going to tell you uh, something interesting that I, that I realized was that the cap really got hot, and it's just a plastic cap. Now, this is all vacuum uh, insulated, so this didn't get warm at all. I didn't feel any heat to it, um, but I could tell that the top was really warm. And what's interesting about that is... Uh, if you ever see those coolers and things that where you just set things into it now and it, the top is open instead of opening the front and letting all that cold air pour out, I believe the ice stayed cold and totally like ice because the cold air goes down and stays down. So it wasn't really pushing up on this cap. Now the hot air, the hot water, the hot was pushing up because heat goes up. So it was going into this cap and I believe that this cap is not really that well insulated. So that's why hot fluids um, won't stay as long as cold fluids. So right now, um, topping out at boiling, it's 212 and it was definitely boiling when I put it in there. So right now it is 147. So which is pretty good for six hours. Not sure if that'll show up or not, but 147 um, is great. 
I think, for um, for keeping it warm for like six hours. So I, I think when it comes down to this Camelback, I think it's a great option for certainly for cold water, but for hot water too. Coffee, I mean, if you're gonna let it sit for six hours, um, that's it's gonna be just fine. It's still gonna be super hot. Like right now, you can just drink it. So if you put it in boiling, it's gonna not gonna cool down really quick. You probably just have to pop the top off and let all that steam kind of come out and let it cool off. You know, the last feature on this Camelback is the the chute system where they, you know, they have the the, the cap that, that screws off, but this is the new mag system. I did a whole review on it and I love it. It's got a magnet right here and it connects so that when you flip it over, it doesn't come out and you can drink it and it doesn't slap you in the face and your, your cap just stays there and then you can just put it right back on. So that's an added bonus to such a great thermos as this. And I, I would say if you wanna get one of these, I have a link down below in my Amazon, Amazon affiliate. You can check it out there. And a big thank you goes out to Red, White, and Blue 78. Um, he's the one that told me about this and he uses it to keep things cold, like water and that type of thing all day long. And so I had to get one and try it out. I would have to say if you're somebody that drinks uh, cold drinks, um, this is a huge 100%. I can totally recommend it. If it's something for somebody that drinks hot drinks, um, if it's during the day or if you're just going out to a deer blind or just a short hike or something for sure um, But if it's something that you want to keep it warm overnight I would get something that has a better thermal cap on it But this one I mean six hours and it's still really hot to drink um, If you're a regular coffee drinker, you probably have to let it sit open for a little bit So either way, I just think it's a great product by Camelback um, The vacuum insulation is really great and then the bonus of the the mag cap is really awesome, too So hopefully you like this video if you would Subscribe. Till next time, just remember, life's a hike, so hike happy.